Welcome to another video. So I just heard recently that Viola, Viola Davis, who was in the film The Help, about um, a black person working for a white family back maybe in the 60s, 50s, some point around then or something. And she regrets being in that role, being in that film role, because we have this movement just on just now um, called Black Lives Matters. And I've always said every life matters and we shouldn't classify it as black or white because there's always been um bum holes uh in every sort of area of the world where white black asian whatever okay uh and they're always the ones that have made problems because and the reason why Fayola davis regrets it is because she feels it doesn't represent what was going on it was like some white woman's ideology of what life was like but I like to think um, that there were always good people uh, and throughout the years you know like the, the the Germans not every German was a Nazi they were always good people so there's always got to be white people uh, and they had to some sort of uh, survive in, in a decade where you had to treat black people a certain way and they were sort of forced into it by society. And the the woman that defended Robert Avery, uh, Catherine uh, Zelmer, was it Catherine Zelmer that, that did it? Um, yeah, Catherine Zelmer. Uh, and I looked at her comments the woman that's trying to uh, free Stephen Avery and all the women are like praising him because she's a woman and I've always grown up in a household where my mother would go to work come home and do you know all the work for the house and she'd look after the bills, she does that and the ironing and everything else and my dad he just went to work and thought he did this bit and came home so there's always strong women in my life and I've always seen women is most of the time superior in this household I'm definitely not the one in charge um, but it's uh, I've always seen people's you know so it's not a new thing so when I see women praising other women because she's a woman I always kind of feel that's wrong that she's why can't we not just praise her that she's a really good lawyer and I think that's what we need to do is in society is we need to stop. We, we we need to stop jumping on the bandwagon of. Uh, I mean, the bandwagon just now is. Um, oh, we we must celebrate b black people. We must get rid of all these things from the past, from say the eighties or nineties in TV, because that doesn't represent very well. But it's still history. We've got to stop praising women for being women because there's so much stuff out there. I look at Amazon just now, there are so many queens and royals and princesses. Yeah, well, they were great, Victoria and all that sort of stuff. Very strong women. Uh, that French bird, what, what's his <laughs> French bird? I say that, that's a wee bit sexist. Uh, French girl, um, Joan of Arc. Uh, you know, she was a strong, strong teenage girl, I believe. Um, you know, but. We're living in society now where they want to get rid of all these film archives and, and comedy shows and sketches that just now seems a wee bit uh, dated or it's frowned upon but in, but now they're like taking it and deleting it out of scenes. And I went, no, we should keep it. It should still be okay to laugh at or whatnot because we can understand that it's from that time. It's not promoting it. It's saying... This is where we were back then, because the minute we st we stop um, when the minute we st uh, we stop and uh, and laugh about ourselves of where we were, you know, and not and the minute we stop acknowledging the past, as we'll forget who we are and we'll, we'll definitely become a sad society where we we forget how to just praise people for for the efforts and and the stuff that they've done and we'll 
we'll forget how to praise ourselves for the voyages that we've that we've been on to get to this point because we will stop praising people f from actually just doing a good job because what sex you are we'll stop praising people for um what they've done because of the uh, the color of the skin and the first thing you will ask is oh that oh a person did that oh right well what what sex was it so we can we can highlight that and what color all oh, right it was a white man okay well, well we'll highlight it but not as much as we would because it was a black man we were just getting too much for me every life matters every person is equal and to to for somebody to resent doing a film uh, 10 15 years ago uh, before black lives matters and and she got paid for it and i think she won awards for it but now she feels that you know she she regrets doing that because it wasn't it wasn't in the status of black lives matters ideology or you know and the same thing can be said about Catherine Zelma or uh, we should celebrate her being a lawyer and taking on and doing a better job than the men because she's a woman and that stuff. No, stop that. We're all equal. I get it from some time in our past, we weren't all equal. We weren't living in an equal society. But that is no reason not to to have all these different opinions and different views and different ideas like Song of the South. Oh, oh, that's shown it from a white person's perspective. But it's also good for kids. They'll get some sense of what it was like back then. They'll get questions. Why was that person living in a wee shack and everything else? And there were some good people. And the help, we shouldn't just paint white people all the time as as bad people in America and back in those days. You know, we had a good guy in that NASA movie where the women, black women, were helping astronauts land. And there was a white guy in charge, played by um, Kevin Costner, I think. And he just felt the whole idea of how these women were treated was wrong. So we should celebrate people like that. We should celebrate people like Schindler's List who, who had to live in that sort of society and, and do things he, he regret, but he tried to save people because not everyone, not every German was a Nazi. We should hold on to these memories of what things were said in comedies that were done in the 80s and the 70s and we should still be able to laugh at them and embrace them but realise we have moved on to, from then. We should be cringy because it's making these jokes. But the minute we start taking these things out of our lives and we celebrate people's accomplishments for the very wrong reasons, apart from being a great human being, we're going to lose our way. We're going, we're going to become a society that has forgotten how to laugh and how to appreciate one another. That's my ideas, my, my thoughts for today. Thanks for watching.